Hello, my name is uh, Pierre-Luc Janvier, and today I'll introduce you to the Avenio Edge system. We'll get a closer look inside, and I will walk you to the process of setting up a run. The Avenio Edge instrument is an automated liquid handling platform designed to automate all the NGS workflow from the Roche portfolio. Uh, the first workflow will be released is a user-defined workflow. Today, I'll introduce you to the different components and how we set up a run on the Avenio Edge. The work table of the instrument has been designed to uh, maximize the flexibility for our workflow while reducing the chances of cross-contamination during the processing. A user would start uh, all the way to the right of the instrument to load the consumables. Our first consumable will be the processing plate used for all of the steps during the workflow. Also in this segment, in the back of the instrument, we have our finger exchange system. For the different step of the workflow, we use either the long or the small fingers for our robotic gripper arm. The next section is the tip drawer. In this location, we can load the disposable tips. The instrument use three different type of disposable filtered tips. We use filter tip to further reduce any aerosol creation. These tips are also um, DNAs and RNAs free to make sure uh, avoiding any additional uh, contamination. We use three different format, a 50 microliter, a 200 microliter, and a 1000 microliter. This way we can use the appropriate tip to ensure high accuracy of pipetting during the aspiration and dispense steps of the workflows. The next section of the instrument is the reagent drawer. We have three different types of reagent container uh, needed to perform the workflow. Reagent reservoir for all the bulk reagents. They come pre-sealed and will be pierced by the instrument just before use. We have reagent cartridges to reduce the number of tubes that need to be loaded on the instrument. Uh, these are cartridges including four 2ml tubes. Again, they'll also be pierced during the process uh, just in time for use. The last uh, reagent carrier is the cool tube carriers. These are for the uh, single tube. Certain reagents are not uh, ambient temperature stable, so they'll be transferred into our cooling block. So they're loaded in this uh, carrier before use. In the uh, last half of the instrument, we find the active components of the uh, Avenio Edge instrument where most of the process is performed. Uh, in this section, you'll find the cooling block. We have two sections, one for the microwell plate where we can store samples during processing. And also in the back, we have the cooling position for the cooling racks we have seen in the previous segment. So the instrument will transfer those racks automatically into the cooling block at the beginning of the run. On the next segment of the work table, we find the sample input location. On this location, we can load several types of sample input. We can have a complete 96 well plate. We can load the MagnaPure 24 8 tube strips. And we can also load the MagnaPure 96 output plate and they all get loaded on the same location. In the back of this segment, we will find the tip park. The tip park is a special consumable that we use to reduce the number of tips needed during the processing of the workflow. It's basically a tip box with all separate cavities where we can park tip during the process and re reuse them later on. This way, uh, we avoid using too many tips and reduce the cost per sample. The last segment of the work table, we find all our active hardware component. At the back, we have a onboard thermocycler to use for all the PCR steps and also for our isothermal incubation. We also have a heater shaker uh, that allows us to uh, mix the complete plate uh, during processing and for additional heating step when required. And inside the deck here, we also have our advanced bead processing station. This is a proprietary component to Roche. 
which allows us to do very efficient bead capture during the different uh, cleanup uh, required during the uh, library prep and target enrichment process. As well on this segment we have two uh, waste chutes uh, to uh, dispose of the tips and the use plate during the process and also we have our liquid waste plate to dispose of the uh, minimal amount of liquid waste that's created during the workflow. The new edge instrument include two different robotic arm. We have the robotic gripper arm which is used to move the processing plate across the work table and also includes the barcode scanner which is uh, necessary to identify all the consumables and reagents loaded on deck. Also on the far right side, we have a robotic pipetting arm, which include eight different pipetting channel to allow us to maximize the throughput for the different workflow we automate. The Avenue Edge instrument is a floor standing instrument. On the right side, you'll find the, uh, the computer and the controller box for the different component and also some storage area. What you can see is that inside the deck here, we also have our quantification module that allows us to do nucleic acid quantification during the workflow. On the left-hand side of the instrument, we'll find the touchscreen monitor, which allow the users to control the instrument. And underneath, uh, which, uh, and these doors which are locked during the processing, you'll find the uh, waste bin for all the solid waste and also we have the cooling unit that keeps our uh, cooling block uh, cold during the processing. And that's it. I now have the pure freedom to walk away from the Avenue Edge while it's processing my samples. I'd like to thank you for your attention. Uh, my name is Pierre-Luc Janvier and I'm proud to be part of the team who built and designed the instrument. Thank you.